Hey everybody, I just want to make a quick video about how we see who we truly are. Um, every day we should examine ourselves. We should wake up and think of ourselves through the views that we have accumulated. But we also have to consider other views. If we don't consider other people's views, other views that are out there, then we can never see ourselves as a new person, an evolved person, uh, individually, personally. Uh, and how we view ourselves is always kind of a, a story, a story that we tell ourselves, a story that we desire to be true. But we should always take into account everybody's viewpoints as far as who we are. Uh, not necessarily people around us, friends, possibly, family, possibly, but through different philosophical ideas. Uh, we may be a different person through uh, a liberal viewpoint, a conservative viewpoint, a uh, Hindu viewpoint, spiritual viewpoint, metaphysical viewpoint, uh, scientific viewpoint, uh, psychological viewpoint. Uh, there's a myriad of uh, viewpoints out there that we should look at ourselves through. And we can see who we are based on how we examine ourselves. And how we examine ourselves doesn't always just have to do with viewpoints. It has to do with different parts of ourselves. Uh, why do we do the things that we do? Why do we smoke cigarettes? Why do we draw certain things? Why do we uh, desire to be uh, a particular religion? Christian, Hindu, Muslim, uh, Judeo. Uh, we should always look at why we are these things. And in that way, we can evolve based on how we uh, view ourselves uh, consistently. Uh, every day we should examine ourselves through different viewpoints. And it's easy to look at ourselves and say, okay, well I'm this, and obviously this person's viewpoints or this type of viewing myself is uh, incoherent with who I am or is irrelevant. And uh, that's easy to say, that's the easiest solution for us to go through. But we should, instead of doing that, we should uh, consider it again always consider somebody else's viewpoint, always consider a different viewpoint that we know of, and maybe even research that viewpoint. Uh, we should learn more about all the different religions. We should learn more about the different uh, scientific ways that uh, human beings are studied, psychology, sociology, anthropology, um, cultural, which is kind of like anthropology, uh, and just uh, physical. Uh, we should, we, this should compose who we are, uh, how we view ourselves. At the very least, if we decide that we are who we think we are, then uh, that's that's something at least tried. Uh, we've at least tried to view ourselves through other viewpoints. But if we if we throw these by the wayside, if we decide that uh, how we view ourselves is who we're always going to be, then we simply can't evolve. We can't become somebody else that is better. Uh, in any aspect, mentally, physically, uh, spiritually. Spiritually is the most important because if we view ourselves uh, as being a Christian, for instance, and we've been Christian all our lives, then we should, uh, we should examine other religions and see how they view things and how they would look at themselves. And uh, at the very least, give it a shot. Um, human beings are very complex. Uh, and we, we desire things that simply aren't possible, uh, simply aren't true. Uh, I can say that I think I'm the, the greatest person in the United States and, and by the standard of individuality, by the standard of complexity, by the standard of, uh, morality. And that simply wouldn't be the case. Uh, that's called realism. <laughs> we should always be realistic with ourselves. Um, but the more we do this, the more that we realize that the stories we tell ourselves have holes in them. Uh, the stories that we tell ourselves are composed to embrace our egoic nature. Uh, they are, they are stories we tell ourselves to make us feel comfortable with who we are right now instead of examining who we could be in the future. And these stories tend to be reinforced uh, over time. They tend to be reinforced by what we want to believe and not what we should uh, give a chance in believing. Um, and it's, it's a constant struggle. 
uh, we should never view our view our struggle of defining who we are as uh, complete as as ending now ending soon in the future or having ended in the past it is a constant struggle and we become we become great uh, we become uh, compassionate, logical, complex by looking at ourselves through different ways. And uh, that's basically got to, all I got to say about this. But uh, feel free to like, comment. I would love a subscriber uh, or two. Uh, I don't have very many right now. But uh, just look at yourselves and uh, in different ways and, and see, what, see what you find. That's all I have to say. Have a good one.